Uh, hi guys. It is a glorious nighty. Oops, there goes my little uh, pit bull bait. He's had enough. Come on, little pit bull bait. You need to join this conversation. Uh, 94 degrees here on Monday morning, uh, April 3rd, 2023. And uh, guys, I'm just going to make a short rant out of this because I've had two or three rants in the past few months about these goddamn pit bulls. And why do we need to round up and kill every pit bull on the planet? And uh, anybody not knowing me, uh, that I am a dog lover who uh, generally likes dogs more than my fellow humans. And this is my little uh, pit bull bait, Sancho Panza. And uh, so anyway, uh, so we're sitting here in the great state of Texas. So right across the street, there is a woman that I was talking to, one of the neighbors across the street who has a Pomeranian. And I guess she was visiting a friend of hers. I mean, at a personal friend's house, if I understood the story correctly. And what happened is, is her friend's pit bull uh, attacked uh, her little Pomeranian and killed it right in front of them. I, I guess these uh, women were sitting there with the two little Pomeranians, and I'm and I'm quite sure. I have no doubt that the owner of the pit bull uh, was saying totally fine. Uh, my dog is not going to hurt your little Pomeranian. And what happens? Uh, then I guess there was a story in the little neighborhood newspaper here <clears throat> that um, uh, last week. This wasn't a, a Pomeranian. This was a mixed, like a Labrador retriever. This 14-year-old Labrador retriever here in the neighborhood. They were out walking the dog. And, and these two motherfucking pit bulls charged out and, and, and attacked uh, this 14-year-old Labrador retriever who was unable to defend itself. Now, apparently, the neighbors managed to uh, pull the, the, the goddamn pit bulls off so the dog wasn't killed, but I'm sure it wishes it was dead. And uh, so anyway, we have some statistics so I guess someone in the neighborhood newspaper found this story uh, from the Stoy Law Group. I guess this is <clears throat> some uh, attorneys who, um, my guess, uh, will help you sue the shit out of somebody with one of these fucking pit bulls. I understand there's a law in Texas, I read this story recently, you've already heard it, where if you feel like your dog is threatened by a neighbor's pit bull running loose, you have the legal right in the state of Texas to shoot and kill a, uh, a a a pit bull. Uh, so anyway, good for the state of Texas. So anyway, this law group uh, has put together dog attacks and biting statistics by breed. Uh, the occasional media coverage of a good lord i have got i have got to go buy some new glasses the occasional media coverage of a severe or fatal dog attack causes upheaval in the public about pet owners um so let's listen to a uh let's listen to some statistics about pit bulls uh, blah 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 okay dog bite statistics by breed 
A census was taken in 2021 of dog attacks by breed. The top five dog breeds with the most bite attacks in the United States are listed below. And uh, now, of course, we're just talking about humans. The, the, there, there is no mention of dog uh, attacks on other dogs, attacks and more importantly, fatalities. But obviously, the number one undisputed champion, hands down, uh, bigger than the next four breeds combined, are these fucking pit bulls. So, uh, I guess in this census, is, I guess uh, from the year leading up to the census in 2021, pit bulls on record, and you better believe that a lot of the dog bites are not ever reported. Uh, but reported attacks on humans from pit bulls in the U.S., 3,397 attacks, 295 uh, people killed, uh, humans killed by pit bulls. Uh, and my guess is the number of, of dogs killed by pit bulls, if humans are at 300, I call it pretty much one human per day killed by pit bulls. I can imagine how many dogs. Pit bulls have a high reputation for being one of the most aggressive breeds backed by the statistics. The breed's poor reputation does not make every pit bull dangerous, but if you are looking at getting a dog and want a pit bull, you should be mindful of these statistics. And I'm just quickly going to go through the next four. Not surprisingly, the Rottweiler 535 attacks, eight dead people. The German Shepherd, 113 reported attacks, 15 dead people. Next, number four, a breed I've never heard of that looks a hell of a lot like a pit bull. Imagine that, the Presa Canario. Never heard of the goddamn thing, looking just like a pit bull. 111 attacks, 18 dead people, and the wolf-dog hybrid, 85 attacks with 19 uh, dead people. So you add up all of the attacks, all of the dead people, from uh, breeds number two, three, four, five, including the breed that looks to me uh, like a goddamn pit bull, and you do not come up with the totals for the pit bull. So what does this law firm say about uh, pit bull attack statistics? A staggering 65% of, well, human deaths from dog bite attacks come from pit bulls. Uh, this is where they were looking at, out of 433, this was from another study, I guess, looking at 433 total dog bite victim fatalities, 284 came from uh, pit bulls. Uh, pit bulls have a much higher fatality rate when they attack humans than other breeds. Uh, but not so not surprisingly 
pit bulls are also the most abused breed in the United States. Uh, another aspect of these statistics is that pit bulls are more efficient with their attacks because of their strength. If a small breed, such as a chihuahua, bites you, Hmm, the likelihood of this bite being severe is low. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, anyway, and of course, this article says nothing about pit bulls, uh, you know, attacking and killing other dogs. You know, this is the biggest fear that I have, walking Sancho. Uh is one of these fucking pit bulls coming out of nowhere and attacking and killing him. Uh, it, it's just time to round up every motherfucking pit bull on this planet. On this goddamn planet. We could start with the goddamn dog pounds. 85% of the fucking dogs at the Austin dog pound are pit bulls where uh, owners uh, have just said, I'm done with it. Take this uh, vicious animal. Uh, every, uh, every dog pound, uh, that's a good place to start, needs to euthanize every pit bull on this planet. Every dog turned into a dog pound should not be put up for adoption. It needs to be taken out of the gene pool. But anyway, I know I'm talking to myself. Anyway, I have got to go uh, find a cooling center on this 94 degree early April day while I still can. My guys.